from seeing all the pictures of everyone full driving in the snow in the high country. So we thought we'd do something a little bit similar. We've gone west of Sydney. Um, we're gonna try and head up into the mountains. I've got Chloe back with me as well. So that's a good recipe so far for a good trip. Um, and yeah, we'll see how we go. towards the tracks and we were coming through Bathurst and we thought why not give the troopy a stretch of her legs we thought we'd come to Mount Panorama set a world record for the fastest lap um, that's not going too well so far uh, but yeah it's pretty cool pretty iconic Be afraid to let nobody down We've hit the gravel, so just to make the ride a bit more comfortable, we'll, um, we'll air down. It's not too hard with these TPMS tire deflator things, so we'll air down and uh, we'll keep on keeping on. So the plan for this trip is we want to do the bridle track. Uh, it's meant to be pretty popular. They've got a Facebook page and everything about it. Pretty much heads from Bathurst across to Hill End. Um, there's a few river crossings and everything. I think it follows the Turon River, or you see the Turon River a bit. So it should be pretty cool. It's a long weekend, so hopefully it's not too busy. Um, and yeah, we'll see how we go. So this is our Fashion 101 on the, on the camping side. That is not okay. <laughs> I'm gonna sing all my blues away Everything's alright when I got you by my side It's gonna be a good, 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 good day do 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 Right, so we've just pulled into the first little camp along the bridal track. 
Bruin Bun Reserve, I'm pretty sure it's called. Um, yeah, if you have a look at the map here, looks like there's heaps of little ones that go across along the river. Um, and yeah, if this is anything to go by, it looks pretty, pretty bloody specky. So we've just pulled up for a bite to eat. We're not actually on the Truon River. It's actually called the Macquarie River. Um, it's along this bridle track. Pretty much there's heaps of uh, campsites scattered along right on the river. They're a lot closer together than we thought and they're all awesome spots to pull up. Um, we're gonna keep going more towards Hill End and then we wanna make our way towards Safala and eventually Kapiti. So we'll find a camp along the way. It looks like there's a few ahead of us. Um, yeah, might have a swim first and keep on keeping on. Sipping on apple pie, moonshine, and I'll be gone by the morning light. Yeah, cause I've been known to write a few songs, loving and leaving and get too stoned. Bottle and a pistol by my side, there was always a long for the ride. We ride across state lines, rubbing two nickels, just trying to make a dime. Hard to make a living out of gas so high Oh, we ride Like a holly on a two-lane Palomino cross the plane Drop it down to four-wheel drive On a Friday night Cracking open a cold buzz light Oh, we ride Push it through the hard luck Looking for my give a fuck Needle peg a nine-to-five But that's all right Cause I'm running every red light So, uh, time set for the pub. So, we just come out the other side of Hill End after finishing the bridle track. The bridle track was nothing hard at all. It was kind of just like a dirt road with a few big gradients and stuff. You just got to watch out for cars coming the other way. Um, and it was pretty busy because it's a long weekend, but awesome track. Um, there were some awesome spots along the river, so we'll definitely have to come out for a weekend and uh, pull up and spend a bit more time. We came through Hill End. I was in search for a pub nice and early, so we got a beer. Um, and then it's that awesome, like sort of blue skies, but still a bit nippy kind of weather. So yeah, really enjoying it. We're gonna head towards Safala now, um, and it's about quarter past two, so we'll probably start looking for a camp real soon. So Chloe's got a little bit of a bone to pick with New South Wales. It turns out that the hills don't end at Hill End. And uh, when you're in a naturally aspirated troopy, it's not the most ideal thing in the world. So she's a, she's a little bit upset. I am. Wasn't that long ago, we were 
talking on the phone to the middle of the night We're not wasting any time and it wasn't that long ago I couldn't wait to get home and look you in the eyes I swore they would be mine forever So we have scored ourselves a camp and have a bloody go at this. We're on what I think is the Turon River. We didn't actually make it to Safala, so we pulled up just before. We couldn't pass this one up, but uh, ripper spot. We even put in the effort to get a fire going, which we don't normally do. I think we got spag bob for dinner and uh, it's gonna be a ripper arvo. Put a line through that last video. I've pretty much been told by the boss that we're not having spag bob, we're having chicken wraps instead. Yes, we are. taking this fashion thing to a completely different level. Your favorite color. You had sunflowers in your eyes that day. I wish I could live in that moment. I'm about to get on a plane. I just really miss you. Cause it wasn't that long ago We were talking on the phone To the middle of the night not wasting any time, and it wasn't that long ago. I couldn't wait to get home and look you in the eyes. I swore they would be mine forever. So we have scored an absolute pearler of a morning. It's blue skies and the sun is out. We came into Safala this morning and we're now on the road between Safala and Kapiti. And it's absolutely awesome. It's just like a normal dirt road. It's actually pretty well maintained. You kind of go through private land. Um, so you just got to stick to the road, but there's some awesome little um, river crossings and stuff, just all concreted. So nothing hard whatsoever. Um, and yeah, it's just a ripper little drive. So we'll keep going with this, make our way into Kapiti. And then I think we're going to do some harder tracks uh, more south of there so so we just put the drone up to get a few cool shots of the river and stuff and there is literally hundreds of little fish just here and a few bigger ones i'm pretty sure they're just they're only just carp but um yeah still pretty cool
Like a western wander song Or a vagabond's goodbye Warm up your shoes It's time to be leaving Let's make a move Do a little less thinking Yeah, yeah Chasing the southern sunrise Driving the pouring rain We're gonna find one so we just came up to our first gate and we had a look on the map and apparently there's a few more so we'll just go through them respectfully and make sure we close them after ourselves and uh, keep on poking along. Well, we've done the old tactical retreat. We were heading up the Pinnacles Fire Trail and we came across a convoy of cars that were sort of a little bit stuck. Um, the hill wasn't too bad, it was a bit shaly, sort of rutted on one side and then off camber on the other side. So they were hanging off winches, so we figured we'd probably have to do the same. From there, you kind of head up to the Pinnacles and then down into Portland. Um, we thought, you know, we'll turn around there, uh, come back into Woolshed. So we've come into Woolshed flat, we just had some lunch and stuff. We'll probably chill and have a swim. I think the plan from now is gonna head back into Kapiti. We were gonna do Ben Bullen National Park, um, but I think if we went in there, there wouldn't be much to see. We'd kind of ju be just hunting for a bit harder tracks. So we're going to chill out here for a little bit, have a swim, make our way back into Kapiti, and I think from there we might uh, make our way home. Shit. 
Well, we've come back into civilization, into Lithgow here. We're just airing up at the 7-Eleven and what a trip. The Macquarie River and the Truon River were some of the best camping I reckon I've ever seen. And the tracks weren't too hard, but were still hard enough to feel like you were adventuring. Um, it is pretty far from Sydney, so you kind of do need that like long weekend or you'd be pushing to do it in a, in a weekend. But um, yeah, we'll definitely be back for that, that amazing camping by the river.